So you know what's crazy? Here's a real building. It's right here. I sold this building with a cartoon. One project that I really enjoyed working on and doing the branding for, honestly, all of them, um, but one in particular is probably one of our first projects. That was 277 East 7th Street. That was a couple years ago. It was a small building in the East Village, um, but we had to figure out how we were going to get people to come all the way over to where it was because the location was crap between C and D, right? Nothing was selling over there at all. There weren't any multi-million dollar condos over there. We had to figure out how to make it interesting, how to make it cool. There was tons of inventory on the market. How are we gonna get people to come over there? How are we gonna get people to be excited about it? How are we gonna, I know, well, my biggest fear was that we were gonna put it on the market and we we're gonna have zero traffic and zero interest. And so we had to figure out, honestly, from the ground up, how do you sell six brand new apartments in a location that most people don't want to be in and come and buy apartments for a lot of money, more money than anyone's ever spent, more money than anyone's ever spent in that location ever. And that's where all the marketing and the strategy and the branding came into play. And called it 70s Village, 7EV. So we had bumper stickers that said 7EV. We put everywhere all over the East Village. We had banners, we had signage. So then boom, okay, now we have a name that people can remember, 7 East Village, which people can remember much better than 277 E 7th Street. So from there, we had to figure out what the brand identity and what the character was. So we said, you know what? Well, let's do something fun and crazy. So instead of just doing kind of your standard typeset, your standard imagery, maybe a photo of Tompkins Square Park, I went to my friend Tom Booth, who's an illustrator, I said, listen, I need a cartoon kind of thing, like a, like, a, like a video game type cartoon and make it like a guy on a bike and put the name on his shirt or something like that and have him be riding through the East Village. And he came back and he gave us this really, really cool drawing. And that was our main image, a shirtless bearded dude on a bike on 7th and C with the address tattooed into his bike, with, with the address tattooed into his back. That was the main image that everyone had now for this brand new building on 7th Street. People were like, this is stupid. This is never gonna help a building sell. This is sexist, this is dumb, like people, like ripped it apart. I just knew that if I just got people talking about it, if I got people to remember the address, to think about the project, they would put it in their tours. Right? That's the biggest issue you have with properties that no one talks about. They don't even put it in the tour when they're looking at properties, when there's a lot of inventory on the market. So I wanted people to at least know about this building and put it in the tour when they were going to see bigger buildings with more amenities and better locations. And once they came in, then we would close them and then we would sell them. Like I know that once I have someone in front of me, I can sell somebody anything. We sold one unit sight unseen because someone heard about it. There were people talking about it on the subways. Like it became this ripple effect of this crazy building in the East Village with some dude tattooed, something crazy. We should go check it out. Like that's all I needed. That's exactly what happened. And that's how we sold it.